I mean, you want to call? Who's holding you? Yes, Abdullah. Yeah, I was actually having a hard time downloading Skype. I was unable to no problem. sign in. What do you want to say to us, Abdullah? So, well, <laughs> well, you're telling that Prophet Muhammad was racist because he said, uh, uh, like you mentioned the hadith referring to black dogs as a devil, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how does that in any way suggest that black people are destined for hell? Well, we can show you a different hadith if this one will not help. What about this one? What about this one? Hold on. What about what about this one? Read, read with me in the screen. Read with me in the screen. <clears throat> what do you say about this one? All right. What is your comment? Read it for me. I'm listening. Wait a second, I'm a little confused. Wait a second. Read for me the hadith. You said that the hadith about dogs is not enough to prove that this is about racism. And I'm providing you different hadith now to prove it. Read this hadith for me. All right, all right. Allah's messenger, <laughs> peace be upon him, said Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white offspring, as it were the... As as if they were white ants he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if they were charcoal he, he then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and i do not mind then he said to those who had been emitted from his left shoulder they are for hell and i do not mind hmm. So what do you think? Well, is it from a trustful source? Uh, this is the story now. The second we mention something, it's a, a Tirmidhi. Yeah, this is a, a Tirmidhi. is a Sahih book. No, not all quotes come from ah, reliable sources. Not I would all, like to yeah. Any, so why it is the, any, why it is in, in a book of a scholar? His name is a Tirmidhi. Ah, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. Why it is in a book which is a scholar, Muslim scholar book, it's called Sahih. The Sahih are six books. One of them is a Tirmidhi. Yeah, but okay. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and Sunan Abu Dawood are more reliable. Ah, well, so it's up to you now. You take whatever you like. Okay, whatever you like. Okay, so now what we will do? We dump all this yeah. book in the garbage. Okay, if I find you something similar in Sahih al Bukhari, you will dump Sahih al Bukhari? Is Sahih al Bukhari? Well, let is, oh, oh, let oh, me ask oh, you a question. Let's for a second. Is, is, is let's it, uh, for do you a agree second. with everything in Sahih al Bukhari? Yes or no? What, what what did you say? Do you agree with everything in Sahih al-Bukhari? It's not like that. Some hadiths were fabricated. Ah, some hadith are fabricated. Exactly. So here we go. Anything, guys. It doesn't matter what the book you give them. It doesn't matter. A second ago, he said Sahih al-Bukhari. Now we say to him Sahih al-Bukhari. He said, no, they, they, because he knew we can show things from Sahih al-Bukhari, which is ugly. And then he would say, I don't accept it because this is fabricated. So the, right, what, you are, to to me, what you are saying to me, what you are saying to me is very important. Listen, listen. What you are saying to me is very important. You are saying to me Islam have no any authentic sources. Are you saying that? No, I'm not saying that. So what is the authentic source of Islam? I'll come to that, but let me respond to the... Uh, where is the authentic Where is the authentic source, resource of Islam? Where we can find it? Sahih al-Bukhari have, have, have bad the stuff, you say. Huh? Which the book? Which which book is Quran, which, uh, which books are the one is guaranteed for you as a Muslim to to learn from? The Quran. The Quran. And okay, the, show uh, me in the Quran. Show me in the Quran the punishment of rape. No, not. You see, if if if, if everything was mentioned in the Quran, it would have been a very very lengthy book. Uh, some things are also mentioned in the hadith. So if this, uh, if a hadith is in a plenty of books, if the hadith is in a plenty of books, this is a reason for you to accept it. What? If a hadith is mean? mentioned in many books, this is a reason for you to accept it. Well, I have to admit that in any case. What? I have to accept that if it's reliable, you know. How, how you know it's reliable? I mean, you've been in the time of Muhammad, you are there, you were witnessing, how you know? I guess there's a 
uh, textual criticism of hadith. Okay, let they, me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If the hadith, if the Muslims agree that the hadith is sahih, hmm. do you agree with it? What? If the only Muslims say that this yeah. is sahih, do you agree with it? Okay, here we go. In front of us, it says, "The Messenger of Allah said." If we're not that dogs were part of nations among the nation, then I would order to that all of them to be killed. So kill every one of them that is a black. Do you accept this hadith? Well, dogs created a problem back then. They would my friend, he is not talking about dogs making the problems. He's talking about specific dogs because of the color black. Any animal which is totally black, kill it. Read it. He didn't say yeah, the one who's biting you. He didn't say the one is bar barking. He, he's not saying. He's saying. But, but, kill. but you know that later on he came with the restriction not to kill the shepherd. After dogs. people complain, this is because of complaining. In the beginning, as you see, he said he hate dogs. Read with me. If not, if it, it, it were not that dogs were part of nations among the nations, then I would order to kill them all. He hate all dogs. And he did this. Is what he did, he killed all the dogs. But when people they start complaining because those people they have animals, they need the dogs to guard them. This is a stupid decision. So they he start, you know, people they start saying, What is that? Or how we can live without dogs? We live in the desert. So then he changed his mind and then he said, Okay, kill the black dogs. Now, why we want to kill the black dog? Explain to us. Black dogs. Hmm. I'm telling you, they will, they would cause problems to. The local people. That's why. I, so there is the black dogs why. only cause the problems. Now you're going to ask that if red dogs were not causing problem or if the yellow dogs were not. Yeah. Causing so problem. why the black dogs? It's the question. Why the black dogs? Uh, it might be that they were more likely to attack you. They are what? They, it might be that they were more likely to attack you, my friend. More, my friend, uh, why, why we not? Why we want to play? Why we want to play this game? Your prophet said the reason. He said because the black dog is the devil. He didn't say because they attack you. Did he say that? No, in this particular hadith, he didn't. But they are. There are others as well. Show me the other. one. Show me the one. It says that the black dogs attack you. I challenge you. Uh, I, I have to search that. Ah, you have to search. I will give you 10 years. Is that fine? <laughs> it's not 15 like that. years. No, 20 me, years. Let, 20 let years. Are we going to meet in 20 years and they will give me the hadith? No, you see, this, this video, my friend, this video is going to be posted autom automatically in YouTube. I want you to pause for me. I will give you 10 weeks from now, 10 years. Pause for me the hadith where it says that the blog, the black dogs attack people. I want to see it. I want to learn from you. Okay, already I'm mm. searching. If I now, find it, I'll definitely now listen, sure listen, listen. So what distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog? Muhammad, he said, it's the devil. He didn't say he bite more. Do you see it? <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Why he is the devil? Uh, you mean why are black dogs associated with devil? It not as he is not associating. He is saying he is the devil. He did not associate it. He said he is the devil. That's okay. why you need to kill it. Black dog is the devil. Yes. No, but uh, it, it depends on how, what devil is like. It's, my friend in Arabic, in Arabic in Arabic it says shaitan shaitan you know what shaitan mean don't tell me depend what the devil is it does not even use the word uh, devil no. it says shaitan satan he is satan al kalb al aswad shaitan he didn't say even a devil this is a false translation he named him as satan <coughs> so why he is satan and why we need to kill him Give me, well, a, give me a legitimate reason for the dog, which is a black only, not the red dog, not the yellow dog, to be killed for he is shaitan. Why he is shaitan? And what is the proof? What I think is that dark color is associated with evil in general sense, like darkness. Hmm. That's why he might have said. Okay, let me ask you. Is it true in the judgment day Allah will make all Muslims white? Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen you. Okay, so what do you say, what do you say about that? Allah will make all Muslims black. Uh, sorry, white. Uh, what I believe that by white it means pure, pure from sin. Hmm. 
but this doesn't say that it says so, your face will turn white it doesn't say pure so, or pure uh, yeah but you see i i posted a comment in the live chat mm. like uh there is a metaphorical sense and there is a literal sense too simultaneously for example uh, i would like to elaborate this in a way uh, the whiteness indicates purity and it also makes it distinguish distinguishable from mm. sin uh, those people who will be turned white will be distinguished from black peoples which uh, which are delved into sin so simultaneously it in uh, it is in a metaphorical sense and a literal sense too hmm. okay but you know the, uh, like when when like when it, it says when it says that, listen 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 in the story it says that there's a beast will hit you in your face and this face is not metaphorical and it's going to use a physical stick of i'm Moses. saying i'm saying there's two yeah so, uh, so where is the metaphorical? Why, why are you okay? You, you, let, let, us, let us do this. Let us do this. Who is the scholar? He said this is metaphorical. There might be none. Ah, be none. so all Muslim scholars, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you are saying Muslim scholars don't take it as something metaphorical, only you to defend Islam, you say it's metaphorical. No, it's not like that. I uh, so okay, so I name for me. Let us go back to zero. Way. Then name for me the scholar who say this is metaphorical. All I'm saying is that I don't know. Don't tell me I don't know. I mean, you scholars. are the Muslim calling me to convince me of something, and now I'm showing you your scholar saying that this is not metaphorical. This is real. So why you are coming with something is not there? Are you saying you know what the Quran meant more than the scholars? No, I'm not saying that. So why Ibn but, Kathir uh, is saying? Uh, they, they, do you think Ibn Kathir? Uh, let me let, let us be enemy. let us be honest, uh, uh, Mister. Well, I don't know what's your name. What's your name? Muhammad. Abdullah. Muhammad. Muhammad. Do you Abdullah. think? Do you think uh, Ibn Kathir is a donkey? No, I don't. Do think you think that. he's a stupid? No. Do you think he don't speak good Arabic? No, he does speak Arabic. He's an Arab, no. So he's a he's yeah. a Ibn Kathir. So so why he's saying this? Uh, this uh, what you're presenting on the screen. Yeah Why why he's saying that? Why why it come to his mind that this is what Is going to ha is, is this what it's meant So how does is this in any way is a racist like because all the believers will be white all these believers will be black uh, wait a second. Hey, hey, let me uh, let me give you another example. For uh, example, uh, in Islam, we are mm. ordered to shake hands with the right hand and not and to enter doors with the right foot. Does this mean that left-handed people are cursed? Of course not. Same thing yes. with black or African yes. people. Yes, your prophet Islam he said. No okay, no, them. no. Your prophet said that the one who eat with the left hand, shaitan, he will share with him. He's cursed. If you share with shaitan, you are cursed. I can show you the verse from the Quran. Is it true? Right. Is it true? Is it true that if you eat with your left hand, shaitan, he share with you? Yes or no? I've not read that hadith, so I can't say it might be true. No, I'm asking you. You as a Muslim, you did not learn anything like this. No, I was not told that. So you are allowed. I to was told not to eat. I was told not to eat with my left hand, but I was not. No, told no, I'm that. asking you. What was the did they teach you? That? Did they teach you? Uh, that yeah. eating with the left hand is haram yes or no yes <laughs> why is that because muhammad have a phobia no it's because the devil eats with his left hand ah, like so okay if the devil eat with his left hand so your prophet is saying that if you eat with the left hand you are devil too not exactly but you're uh you're emulating him if you're uh -huh. eating with your left hand well we never saw the devil anyway and who care God, He created us with two hands. So why would I use only one for four? Did did God say that, or Muhammad came in with a story which is funny? No, the God must have said to Muhammad. Let me ask you: Do do Shaitan kiss? I don't know. Okay, do Shaitan take a nap <laughs> inside the nose? You mean? No, no, I'm not talking about this. According to your prophet. That he don't take a nap, not sleep. He sleep, but he don't take a nap. 
like you know uh, you know na na the nap I'm talking about like afternoon I, I know I know okay so why your prophet saying that uh, uh, take a nap afternoon because shaitan he don't do that why why I have to do the opposite from shaitan what does that mean what me taking a nap because had to shaitan do shaitan is the devil you cannot my friend what this had to do I mean I'm, I'm going to be better now because I take a nap afternoon what does this mean shaitan don't take a nap afternoon where Muhammad getting this from we can find the hadith from God huh Prophet of God, what, what, prophet. what is where is God? He said that. No, not everything are mentioned in the hadith, but some things are taken as pres presumptuous because, in order to obey Him, we need to accept that as true. Because if we deny that, then how can we accept but, Him? But but this but this is mean that this is mean that Muhammad is fabricating stories because where he got this from? No, 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 no. It does not mean that. How okay. Do you, how do you, you say heard that? The, your prophet saying that if you don't say a prayer before you have sex, Shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. Yes or no? I don't know, but he might have said that. So I okay, so that he too. said that. Not might. Don't tell me might. That will make me angry. Either you say he said or you say <laughs> he might. If you say he might, I don't know. No, you have to say yes. Otherwise, you are to force me to make you read it. So <laughs> okay, now, Shaitan, <laughs> do you really believe your prophet when he said? That shaitan he wrap himself around the penis of a man if you don't pray to Allah before sex. Yes or no? I you... have to say yes because okay. Okay. I don't know. And okay. But Muhammad, guys, did, did, did Mr. Muhammad say I have to say yes? He said yes, right? Okay. So now if you don't have a prayer before you have sex with your wife, shaitan will have intercourse with you, with your wife, and he will make your son the son of the shaitan. Do you agree? No. But he's just your prophet, he said. But how does that mean that the son which will be born would yes, be the son of Satan? Yes, yes, yes. This is what your prophet said. Are you saying he's lying? <laughs> Are you saying, just say it. Are you saying that whoever believes in this is a liar? Say it. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, so you believe in it now. Say yes. No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> Do you believe or you don't? I don't like so so Muhammad. I like straight answers. So, do you believe in what Muhammad said that Shaitan will sleep with you and he will share with you with your children, which means he will have kids from you, from your wife? Uh, how how, do, how does that imply that he will uh, the kid which will be born? Is, would don't ask me. Ask your prophet. I'm asking me. you. If your prophet said that, are you willing to say he's a stupid? No. Why would I? Say you just that? said that because you said how this imply. Yeah, I'm saying, how does this imply? So why your prophet so saying? That? So why your prophet saying that? Uh, you need to show me the hadith now. Okay, I want to show you. Uh, if I show you a weak hadith, is that accepted? Uh, weak hadith like day one. But yeah, you don't like it. You don't. Is it is that accepted no, or I don't not? Like that. Okay, because it's it's coming from the Quran. So this is the daif hadith from the Quran. Guys, he said if it's daif, he will not accept it. Let us see how we will play with this one. This is Quran, my friend. <laughs> Read with me. Actually, I'm suffering from cold. That's why I'm coughing. My friend, over drink camel urine. It's the best. Washarikahum fil amwali wal awlad. Do you see it? Do you want me to show you the interpretation for this verse? Yeah, in English. What is the interpretation for this verse? Do you know? Al Mauli wa Wala Waladi wa Idhum. What is that? Is that Arabic supposedly? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is sound like uh, gibberish. I'm not a native Arabic speaker. No, neither mm. I speak English properly. Mm. Okay. So what do you say about this verse? Let me read the interpretation. Do you want Ibn Kathir or you want... Uh... Hold on, let Ibn me show Kathir you. Ibn Kathir would be fine. Ibn Kathir would be fine? Okay. Let us see Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Where is Ibn Kathir? Okay.
that Abni Kathir a second ago he spoke about white and black. You did not accept him. So what we will do now? No. So you will, you will you will pick up and choose. That, so now if Ibn Kathir if Ibn Kathir is saying something you like, you will you will, you will agree. Do you promise me you will agree? No, it's not like that. Ah, it's not like that. It's not like that. Ah, all right, all right. I see. You have to be consistent, right? Uh huh. Consistent. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All of this is about the story. Read with me carefully. And you are the one who chose Ibn Kathir. When one of you wants to have intercourse with his wives, let him say, in the name of Allah, oh Allah keeps us away from shaitan. And yeah. keep, keep shaitan away from what you bestow on us. Children, between two brackets, the children's. Then if the child is decree, dec uh, uh, decree for them from that, the shaitan will never harm him. Do you see it? Is that metaphorical? No, it's not. It's not metaphorical. But where mm -hmm. does it say that the child would, if born, but uh, if the person not said Bismillah Rahman Rahim, would be of Satan? Let me show you. Where does it say that? In Ibn Kathir, don't go to other <laughs> interpreters. Oh, that, oh, that only Ibn Kathir, only, huh? Yeah, that will be fine. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm just trying. You don't. You don't know your Arabic, right? Uh. People are saying that I'm doing fake sickness. Sam. But before that, why don't you come to the first study that you referred? Okay. Hold on, let me show you. That Adam one. All right. Whoever wants to see Satan, let him take a look at. All right, I found you. Something you will like. Wait a second, let me turn my chat. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a hard time finding that, right? Oh, no, not me. Keep dreaming. Here we go. Read with me. Hmm. Uh, which source is this? Read with me. Read. This is a fatwa, and reported for you the reference of the Muslims. I will give you the link so you can you can check it out. The number of the fatwa. No, but uh, what sources are they using? Uh, they are using many books in the same time. All of them that are tafsir, and this is Ibn Abbas. Doesn't matter what source, because this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, who is mentioned by all tafsir. Read with me carefully. It says, "Waruya and Jafar reported by uh, hold on re reported by Jafar uh, that uh, uh, the son of Muhammad that the shaitan he he sat around around the penis of the man if he did not say in the name of Allah, and he will be doing the women with him, and he is going to come inside her vagina." 
the same as the man he come inside her and it was mentioned that the prophet said which mean that in the uh, they said to the prophet who are they the Mugharibun? the word is strange for them he said those who the, the genies were shaitan share with them their children which mean have sex with their wives and it's mentioned by ibn abbas he said that my wife she woke up and she found in her vagina a flame of fire he said that because of she is having sex with the genie do you see it or not yeah i saw that okay what, what do you say does it say that the child would this is the shaitan having sex with you this one you need to, to, to make the prayer he's saying why we need to make the prayer why the prophet said pray before you have sex why because if you don't do that shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of the muslim man and he will be doing wife and he will leave fire there because his penis is fiery you know shaitan so his penis is not you, like yours he shoots fire for real of Satan, not even even here there's a real muslim muslim she she's witnessing that she woke up in the morning and she find she found fire in her vagina and absolutely this is a true story what do you say are you going to say ibn abbas is a liar and remember this is the cousin what of muhammad are you using? here we go this is here he's quoting uh, uh, this is from tafsir al baghawi and this is the same chapter we uh, are mentioning the same chapter we are this mentioning is reliable yes this is fatwa this is fatwa number never heard of my it. friend this is a fatwa number read with me fatwa number let me give you the link i will give you the link in your skype no i believe you uh, no 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 go but search you can give me uh, no, so I, no i want you to search i want you to make a video about it my friend all right i want you to tell all your friends about it about what happened here i, I want you to show christian prince's line you know that's why i'm giving you the link here we go and this is can be found in many in tons of books Tons of books. It's not a place or you know two. I, or... I got that. I got. That. Right. So this is what you Muslims believe that shaitan. This is not metaphorical, but the Muslims today, because they notice how stupid those statements are. So what they do? They play the game of metaphorical. Anything they became metaphorical. This is not metaphorical. Never been metaphorical for fourteen hundred years. But today, because Muslims became more educated, they go to school, they go to university. So now we cannot accept this garbage. We have to say it's a metaphorical. This is the truth, my friend. Tafsir al Khatib is stating all that. Ma'ali right, Mutanzir, look how many tafsir. Look, all those tafsir. Al Bab fi Ulum al Kitab, Al Mosu al Shamila, Tafsir al Khazan, Tafsir al Baghawi. Let me continue. All the tafsirs are quoting the same thing. But now, suddenly, you Muslims, you are saying, this is the tafsir, uh, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And look here what it says Ibn Abbas said that uh, actually you know what if you want to read more about this I advise you to get my book did you have my book the last no, one I don't go 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 to get it man you are missing a lot you will learn about your religion things you never heard before all of it coming from authentic source and you will see all the source mentioning page number chapter number everything go get my book because there I'm giving you all right all the details and here you see look Ibn Abba, this is the official government website of the kingdom of, of, of saudi arabia let me show you the, the the title there do you see the title in the top do you see the address the web address yes. quran.ksu.education.sa no. saudi arabia do you see it <coughs> is it showing now <coughs> yes yes all yes. right now if we go down here read carefully with me this is to explain the same verse we are reading. Ibn Abbas, he said, in the Imra'ati is taiqadat fi farjiha shu'latun min nar. Ibn Abbas, he said, my wife, she woke up and in her vagina, she have a fire and that because she have sex with the genie. And then he continue, look, it says, uh, when, Ib when Iblis, when Iblis, the father of Satan, he went out to the, to the ground. He said, oh, oh Lord, oh Allah, you you kick me out of heaven. Huh? Give me give me a chance to to share Adam with his children. So he said oh, to him to okay. So this is by permission of Allah. Shaitan, he can have sex with you with your wife. I mean, amazing God. And then he said to him, etc. So this is what he what 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 the Quran is saying, and this is what Islamic interpretation is saying. But you Muslims. So what does this prove in any way? A proof of madness. Do you really believe Shaitan sleep with your wife? Be honest with me. 
I mean, I have to, even if I didn't know about that. Uh, don't don't, don't tell me I have to. Tell me either is that convincing for you or you have to? Convincing, there's a lot of things in religion which might no, uh, no, turn your head because around, when you believe, either you are convinced or not. If you if you if you don't believe, it's me you're not a believer. A person who believes no, not like that. No, it's like that. A believer is somebody he believe. All right. So you don't believe. You are saying it's not convincing. Correct, guys. If somebody uh, said, I didn't say you said I didn't that say you, you, said, you said you said you said a lot of things in religion does, is not convincing. So either you convince or you are I'm, not convinced. I'm general, I, it was a general generalized statement, which is true for every religion. Some and, and, and no, I'm talking about your religion, and I, you know that I'm not talking about you believing my belief. No, talking about you. So you are talking to yourself about yourself. So it's not everything in Islam is convincing. Is what you said. Kind of. Okay, so you don't believe you are not a Muslim. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you, my friend. Anyway, we uh, our time is up. Thank you, uh, Mr. Muhammad, for calling. Maybe you can call me a second but time. But you did not. Uh, uh, I I actually was I actually did not say what I wanted to say. It's okay. Next time, because you know my time is up. It's almost eight o'clock here for me, and I'm already for four hours here. So. Uh, right. You can call me next time. No problem, my friend. I will come anytime. Right. I will come all Muslims who they are polite. They don't say a bad language to call me anytime. And uh, I'm not speaking against you, Muhammad. I'm trying to help you. Nothing personal. You do not know me. I do not know you. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I am not speaking against my people. I'm an Arab person. I don't hate them. Nobody hate. Nobody hate his mother and his father and his parents. Nobody hate his brothers and sisters. Right? So we don't hate anyone. Yeah. We are trying to help people. <laughs> This is gonna be from God, and this is very racist. A dog is a black. Not only it's racist, it's stupid. It's a dog, a stupid dog. Why in the world we gonna kill a dog because it's black? Are you really going to shoot a dog because it's black? Be honest with me. <laughs> That's madness. That's madness, and that 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 is not a, 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 like a speech of somebody who have some intellect. Not only. Even what kind of logic this logic is to say but, a dog he is or to, or to kill a lizard when Adam was created No race or gender existed by him. Yeah, was but, but every race and gender of mankind No, How but no 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 when people? Adam and Eve created your prophet explain I showed you the hadith I Showed you the hadith your God Allah. He hit the shoulder of Adam the right shoulder and from there he Provide there was no race no, like there no is. He, he, this is how the race created, according to him. According to no, your prophet. How can African or black people be taken into the offensive consideration if they didn't even existed yet? No, my friend. It from, is quite no, 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 no. You see, you don't understand Islam at it all. Is quite obvious uh, you don't understand Islam. No. It's, uh, the black people, they are created since the creation of Adam. You are not reading, my friend. You are not reading. When Adam was created, Allah. He hit the shoulder of Adam, the right shoulder, and this is how he made the white people. So they are created already. And then he hit the left shoulders of Adam. Adam, not Nuh, not Muhammad, not you, not me. Adam, we are talking about the first man. So according to your prophet, the race, the division of race and black of white, created from the beginning, and this is the plan of Allah. The plan of Allah is that black go to hell, white go to heaven. And you are telling me this religion is not racist? No, so why would he create them in? Uh, why would he cre create them anyway if he wants to send them to hell? Because he's a crazy and, God. Why uh, he created you? Why it, he created? No, no. It, let, it let, reminds let me. Of ask the you, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Why Adam? Why Adam was kicked out of heaven? Because he ate the fruit of the tree. So uh, if you commit sin, so you are saying to me because of his sin, right? Yeah. Okay. Muhammad, he said no. <clears throat> Muhammad. Uh, look, oh, uh, you are going to tell the. Uh, uh, fate had it like yeah for details because this is his fate yeah his this, absolutely this is his fate this is not because he commits sin uh, this is what Allah he planned for uh, him so you don't understand this time my friend is responding to did they say mm -hmm. uh, fate is something or destiny is something is not what uh, because of fate uh, actually, uh, wait a second because of what you do destiny destiny is written it's my, not my, my friend my friend forget about that don't 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 waste your time Hear the story in front of you. We spoke about Adam. I asked you, do you think Adam was kicked out of heaven because of why well, he's kicked out of, uh, of heaven? You said because of sin, correct? You said that a second ago. Yeah. Okay. Here, it's the opposite. Your prophet don't agree. Adam, he said to, uh, to Moses, do you blame me? But Moses is blaming him for what? 
blaming him for the sin, which means he believed the same as you believe, that because he commits sin, he's out of heaven. So what Adam, he said to him, do you blame me for what Allah, he wrote for Allah. me 40 years, 40 years before? So no. you cannot blame me. Can we blame Adam for his sin? Yes or no? No, God knew what he was going to this do. This is not what, about knowing. No, 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 that no. This is not a, don't play games, it's Muhammad. Like Be honest. This is it's, not it's about not no. He is blaming it's him. No, 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 no. This is not about God knowing. Don't play it's games. Be honest. It's the opposite. What it you, is what not about blaming for his knowing or not. He's saying to him, Do you be careful? Anyway. No, it says, Musa God said to Adam, would, uh, uh, Muhammad, you are not being honest. Musa said to Adam, Oh, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turn us out of paradise so what adam uh, uh, accusation that you are the one the reason for us to go out of paradise adam he said to him do you blame me for something written for me so which means you can't blame me why he can't blame him tell me why Musa is blaming for the sin adam saying you can't blame me for my sin why because Adam didn't know what he would do, but God knew what he would do. So no, he that. no, that's not what he's saying. That's what he this is not what he's no, eventually. no, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that this is what is written for uh, me. What is written for me? It's not my decision. Uh, what so, is written so, for so me? Why it's written? It's because that's what Adam would would do. That's what the choice no, of Adam. No, no. Oh, like, okay, like, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It would. It was no, 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 no. Uh, Muhammad, you are not being honest. Everybody is reading the hadith in front of us, and you are trying to defend something nobody can defend. You cannot, you cannot accuse Adam of sin because simply Adam saying, "Can you blame me for something written?" So you cannot blame me. He's blaming him about what? Blaming him about being sinner, not about God knowing, not knowing. He is not the whole conversation about not God knowing. The conversation is that because of you, you commit sin, and we are out of heaven. I get that, I get that, but I'm I'm just telling you the reason behind that. No, Why that's not the reason, that? my friend. What what reason? The reason is if you're in front of us, you are the one who all made I'm us. Saying, all I'm saying, God knew what Adam would do. If and no, your God uh, know nothing, my friend. Your God know nothing. We can prove it. But according to the hadith, yes, Allah He knew. But not only He knew, He wrote His fate before. Fate, fate huh. is your destiny, so, which you will do. It's not what hold you on, will hold do. On, hold, on, what hold, you on, hold on, hold on, right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right, hold on, hold on. Is the Christians a Christians because of Allah want them to be Christians or because a Christian they want to be Christian? Joy, there's free will. No, you will do and, what listen, you will do. I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want, an I, want an I want an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. Christians are Christians because Christians decide to be Christian or because Allah he want them to be Christian. Are you going to quote chapter 4 verse um, I, I did not quote anything for you yet. Did I? No. Hmm. So, um, what is the answer? Is we are Christians because we choose to be will. Christians? Free will? Where is the free yeah. will? Where is the free will? Where is the free will? What all the, all the verses and anything you want all the verses we are showing in the front of us all the verses in the front of us there's no free will there's no free will in Islam do you know the hadith about the, the distance of a cubit between you and heaven do you know about it no okay let me show it to you then let us see the free will you are talking about if it's real or not or fiction Read this hadith with me, please. I cannot see that. Hold on, let me show it to you. Here we go. Go ahead, read. Allah's messenger, the truthful. Where did it go? Allah's apostle, the truthful and truly inspired, said, Each one of you collected in the womb of his mother 40 days and then turns into a clot for an equal period of 40 days and then turn, turns into a piece of flesh for a similar period of 40 days. And then Allah sends an angel and orders him to write four things. 
i.e. his provision, his age, and whether he will be of the wretched or the blessed in the heaven. Okay, in hold on, hold on. Who is going to decide if you will be rich or poor? Uh, God. Okay, is that the free will you are talking about? But... All right, I see. Hmm. He will write for you. Everything will happen to your life as orders. His age, then so is his age, to him and... his age, his provision. Hmm? Whether he will be a bad or good person. So where is the free will? So you mean to say? I'm not saying it's your prophet. Don't tell me you mean, my friend. Don't tell me you mean. It's your prophet saying. Where is the free will? No, what I think is because what we would do is written in the destiny, not because it's written in. No, the no, 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 no. It's Read, not with, me. Read with me. That's what I Read mean. with me. Is your age is part of your uh, free will? No, it's not. Okay, so all of those are in one item. All of those are one item. You will be rich or poor. You will be good or bad. You will be a believer or disbeliever. All of them and your age. So all of this is written by Allah. He decides for you. Now, if we continue reading, we will see something more dangerous. He said that then the soul is breathed into him by Allah and a person among you or a man, he may do, and read carefully with me please here, he may do the deeds of the people of the fire till there is only a cubit or an arm breathed distance between him and the fire so there's a guy he is doing everything as against islam until almost he is in the door of hellfire almost there there is a cubit which means like a, a, a you know less than 60 centimeter okay now i'm close to the hellfire but then that written which allah ordered the angels to write proceed and he does the deed of the people of paradise and he enter it where is the free will all right it's not but it shows the mercy of allah what where is the free will it shows the mercy of allah that what shows what shows but my friend it says what is written my friend it says what is written by allah will take over it's not him changing what is allah written so but 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 we know that dua can change our destiny my friend this right? is not about dua what are you do you see he's saying there he prayed to allah he repent no he's saying no, it, it, this, this does not say that but there are others don't don't, don't go there don't go there it. i have nothing to do this is about destiny this is about destiny this is about destiny it's in front of you the guy is doing bad yeah, on his are. life what what is it what is new what is new what happened in this story in front of us what is new did he turn to islam did he became a person who pray no or what it says but what is written by Allah order by the angel will take over it's not him this is Allah order it's not his decision <laughs> this is what is written the guy decision is to be filthy as you see all his life is doing the act of hellfire but then what is written will take over so in the beginning that that there is the free will but he go to heaven by the by the but not by the free will by the decision of Allah for Allah he wrote for him when he created him you go to heaven same again Muhammad you repeat the same story he said there's a person of you he will go to heaven read with me what else did, did read, read, read with me read me and he does okay <clears throat> read with me uh, and then he said and the man do the deeds of the paradise so this is different man now he do what he do the deeds of paradise people of paradise till there is only one a cubit or two between him and paradise okay mm -hmm. until now he all this guy he's doing is the deed of paradise and then what that is written proceed what is written is written by whom by Allah proceed and he does he does what he does what is written you see all his life he is doing the opposite now Allah he wrote something and that thing is going to take over Allah will reformat you let me but show you let, let, let us uh, yeah there is a reason the reason is clear there's no free will what about this uh, let me ask you if a child he, he die 
Where he go? If a baby child, a Muslim child, he die, where he go? Uh, in general, he should go to heaven, but I know from your content that uh, Prophet Muhammad said he may or may not. Why? No, I don't know. It might be Allah's will. Ah, again. So there is no free will because if you go to heaven, you go to heaven because of your act or because you are because you commit no act. Why you go to heaven? So it's kind of like the Christian teaching: salvation is a gift. You may receive it or may not. No, no don't, don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. This is I have nothing to do. Salvation is something you accept. You agree. You take it or you don't take it. This is what it means. You accept Jesus. You don't accept Jesus. It's your business. Here, this is a child. He's a baby. He did not accept God. He did not reject God. He have no idea what God is even even is. So why he will go to hell? What is the possibility to go to hell? Because of destiny. Muhammad he said because Allah he created for who in hell, and who is in paradise when they are in their mother line and, and their father uh, backbone. So there is no free will in Islam. It's written before you are born. He this is the child. This is a baby child. He is not even um, a month or two old. And Aisha, she is witnessing. She think Aisha that because he's a child, he will go to heaven. So she say, "Okay, look, this child, he's a bird from the birds of paradise." A prophet Muhammad he said, "Don't be stupid. It might be the other other way." For Allah created for people of paradise and people of hell when they are in their father backbone, which is scientifically wrong too. So here, there's no free will again. All of this confirm, confirm the same story that when you are in the backbone of your father, Allah, He decides if you go to hell or not. It doesn't. It's not your sin. It's not a deed. It's a, it's a lie. The deed of not deed, a bad deed, good deed. It's a lie in Islam because, as you see, this is a child. He's born uh, 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 from a Muslim family. Not like we can't say he's born from a Christian family, so he will. Uh, and even Muhammad, he said every person is born as a Muslim. So even a child of a Christian family, according to Muhammad, is a Muslim. So why he will go to hell? Yeah, he must not go to hell, but but he's saying you might go. But he's saying you might go. So why? Simply because Muhammad, you do not know why. Because Allah, he decide already. It's not because there is. If you do this, you get that. No, in Islam, it's a, Islam is a stupid religion. It does not work this way. So the Quran and Muhammad's statement full of contradictions. Once he says those who do good deeds, they will go to heaven. And then he says the one who do good deeds, who care? At the end of the day, it's what Allah wrote for you is going to happen. What what this child did? Why this child will go to hell? No reason. Yeah. So obviously, it's what Allah he wrote for you. You pray, you don't pray, it doesn't matter. There is a distance of a cubit between you and heaven. Instead, you go to hell. And this is why he said, La amanu makra Allah. I cannot, I cannot. Trust the deception of Allah. That's why my book, my first book, is called The Deception of Allah. All right, Muhammad. Thank you very much, my friend, for yeah. calling. And um, let me hear from you again. Do some study for what I showed you and call me. Maybe you can get some answers. All right, my friend. All right. Thank okay, you. Take care. Much. Take care.